It was 1835 New York, a group of curious pedestrians gathered in front of a circus gate. A yet unknown showman promised to reveal to them the oldest woman alive, a lady so old she nursed one of the founding fathers, George Washington. For that to have been true, she would have had to have been 161 years old, an outrageous claim. When the showman drew the curtains, he revealed Joyce Heth, an extremely old-looking African-American woman. The audience was euphoric. They believed him and went home that day thinking they really met George Washington's nanny. The man behind the show was P.T. Barnum, who went on to become a household name in the circus industry, building on the success of the Oldest Woman Alive Act. But was he really the greatest showman, or was his fame built on lies and exploitation? Phineas Taylor Barnum, the man who inspired the 2017 movie The Greatest Showman, saw in an elderly enslaved woman named Joyce Heth the opportunity to get rich. Back then, slavery had already been outlawed in New York, but Barnum managed to buy her, exploiting a loophole in the regulations. He made up her age to be 161, and he flooded the city with posters enticing Americans to come and watch The Oldest Woman Alive in his circus show. Hundreds of thousands of people flocked to meet the impossibly old woman. During her shows, she recounted stories of cradling George Washington and singing his favorite songs. As outlandish as it seemed, Joyce's appearance worked in Barnum's favor. One journalist described her as weighing 46 pounds, blind and toothless, with sunken eyes and partial paralysis. However, there were those who doubted him. Doctors and scientists publicly denounced him as a charlatan. Joyce could not possibly be that old. Yet the more people talked about her, the more tickets were sold. At one point, Barnum himself spread the rumor that Joyce wasn't actually alive, but merely an automaton. After one year of touring across the country and earning Barnum fame and wealth, Joyce passed away, but Barnum's greed didn't. Barnum still found a way to exploit the deceased woman to make a profit. To silence the doctors calling out his lie, he came up with one of the most incredible stunts in the history of entertainment. An audience of 1,500 people paid 50 cents, $14 today, to watch as the skeptical doctors conducted an autopsy on Joyce's body to determine her true age. When the doctors concluded their examination, they gathered and made the announcement to the public. Not only was Joyce not 161 years old, but she likely wasn't even half that age. The audience was shocked, and it seemed that Barnum had been defeated. However, with nothing to lose, he gambled again, shouting to the crowd, that's not Joyce's body at all. She's alive and well, traveling around the world. And even after all of that, some still believed him, with some reporting sightings of her enjoying a coffee in a cafe in France years later. Barnum himself eventually confessed in an interview to fabricating the entire story. But even then, loyalists insisted he had been coerced into making a false confession. On one side, the scientists had tried to call out Barnum's deception. On the other, Barnum created a cult immune to scientific scrutiny. While he lied, his pockets filled. When scientists subjected, he silenced them. Today, it's easy for us to see through Barnum's deception, but we live in a world where lies and conspiracies are far from rare. In such a world, perhaps it's time to value those whose opinions are rooted in science, rather than those who merely seek personal gain.